Usasama sector is known to be a food basket due to its climate and its healthy soil, hence bearing enough produce. But on one hand, due to the farmers that are infected with the COVID-19 virus, their neighbors around are cultivating crops on their behalf. Hitimana Jean-Baptiste says they are determined to cultivate for those that have been infected with COVID-19 virus so that they do not miss out on the cultivation period as they prepare to plant potato seeds. I felt like taking the initiative to cultivate for them so that when they get better, they will know that we were there for them. Right now we are prepping the soil for planting and when the cultivation period arrives and the seeds are not enough, we shall provide the seeds because we want them to know that they are not only in a country with security but also with neighbors that do care for them. In addition to the initiative, they also deliver food to them, such as potatoes, beans and fruits, to their homes with the help of health counselors. These patients say they appreciate this gesture from their neighbors. I thank my neighbors for not only cultivating for me, but also bringing me food so that I don't go outside and infect others. And when I recover, that's when I can be among others. The executive secretary of Usasama sector, Vano Etienne, says residents have raised more than 250,000 rodent francs to buy fruits for the COVID-19 patients, along with food in addition to the food donations provided by the government to support families affected by the total lockdown. In each village, residents contribute food and deliver it to COVID-19 patients because we don't wish to see any patient lacking food. Health counselors visit them and advise them on a daily basis. He points out that currently the community has cultivated for six families and that the work will continue so that every COVID-19 patient who is unable to take care of his or her agriculture activities will be assisted by his or her neighbours. There are currently more than 40 COVID-19 patients in Busasama sector. Jane Mutoni, RTV News.